Prostate Cancer. Welcome back to another Radclusive video. Today, we are going to discuss everything you want to know about prostate cancer. Before we proceed to this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up button, share to your friends, and subscribe to Early7 YouTube channel for more Radclusive videos. What is prostate cancer? Prostate cancer is a serious disease that affects thousands of men each year who are middle-aged or older. About 60% of the cases occur in men older than age 65. The prostate is a small gland found in a man's lower abdomen. It's located under the bladder and surrounding the urethra. The prostate is regulated by the hormone testosterone and produces seminal fluid, also known as semen. Semen is the substance containing sperm that exits the urethra during ejaculation. When an abnormal, malignant growth of cells, which is called a tumor, forms in the prostate, it's called prostate cancer. This cancer can spread to other areas of the body. In these cases, because the cancer is made of cells from the prostate, it's still called prostate cancer. According to Urology Care Foundation, prostate cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths for men in the United States. What are the types of prostate cancer? Most cases of prostate cancer are a type of cancer called an adenocarcinoma. This is a cancer that grows in the tissue of a gland, such as the prostate gland. Prostate cancer is also categorized by how fast it grows. It has two types of growths, the aggressive, or fast-growing, and the non-aggressive, or slow-growing. With non-aggressive prostate cancer, the tumor either doesn't grow or grows very little over time. With aggressive prostate cancer, the tumor can grow quickly and may spread to other areas of the body, such as the bones. What are the causes and risk factors of prostate cancer? There's no known cause for prostate cancer. Like all cancers, it could be caused by many things, including a family history or exposure to certain chemicals. Whatever the instigating factor is, it leads to cell mutations and uncontrolled cell growth in the prostate. Who are at risk for prostate cancer? While prostate cancer could occur in any man, certain factors raise your risk for the disease. These risk factors include older age, a family history of prostate cancer, certain ethnicities or race, obesity, and genetic changes. As mentioned, age is a primary risk factor for prostate cancer. The disease occurs most often in men older than age 65. It occurs in about 1 in 14 men between the ages of 60 and 69. What are the prostate cancer symptoms? Some forms of prostate cancer are non-aggressive, so you may not have any symptoms. However, advanced prostate cancer often causes symptoms. If you have any of the following signs or symptoms, don't hesitate to call your doctor. Some symptoms of prostate cancer can be caused by other conditions, so you'll need an examination. They can make sure you receive the correct diagnosis and treatment. Symptoms of prostate cancer can include urinary problems, sexual problems, and pain and numbness. Urinary problems are a common symptom because the prostate is located beneath the bladder and it surrounds the urethra. Because of this location, if a tumor grows on the prostate, it could press on the bladder or urethra and cause problems. Urinary problems can include frequent need to urinate, a stream that's slower than normal and bleeding while urinating, or hematuria. Erectile dysfunction may be a symptom of prostate cancer, also called impotence. This condition makes you unable to get and keep an erection. Blood in the semen after ejaculation can also be a symptom of prostate cancer. Metastatic cancer is cancer that has spread to other areas of the body from where it first occurred. When prostate cancer metastasizes, it often spreads to the bone. This can cause pain in the areas of the body like pelvic, back, and chest. What are the tests used to diagnose prostate cancer? If you and your doctor decide that screening for prostate cancer is a good choice for you, your doctor will likely do a physical exam and discuss your health history. They'll also do one or more tests, which may include 1. Digital rectal exam. With this exam, your doctor will insert a gloved finger into your rectum to inspect your prostate. They can feel if there are any hard lumps on your prostate gland that could be tumors. Two prostate-specific antigen. This blood test detects your levels of PSA, a protein produced by the prostate. 3. Prostate biopsy. Your doctor may order a biopsy to help confirm a prostate cancer diagnosis. For a biopsy, a healthcare provider removes a small piece of your prostate gland for examination. 
Your doctor may also order other requests to diagnose prostate cancer like MRI scan, CT scan, or bone scan. Your doctor will discuss with you the results of these tests and make recommendations for any next steps that may be needed. Prostate cancer treatment. Your doctor will develop an appropriate treatment plan for your cancer based on your age, health status, and the stage of your cancer. If the cancer is non aggressive, your doctor may recommend watchful waiting, which is also called active surveillance. This means you'll delay treatment but have regular checkups with your doctor to monitor the cancer. More aggressive types of cancer may be treated with other options such as surgery, radiation, cryotherapy, chemotherapy, stereotactic radiosurgery, and immunotherapy. Prostate cancer is a risk for all men as they age, but if it's caught and treated early, the outlook is generally very good. So as you get older, be sure to have open conversations with your doctor about your risk. If you have any symptoms you think might be prostate cancer, talk to your doctor right away. That ends our video for the prostate cancer. If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up button, share to your friends, and subscribe to Early7 YouTube channel for more radclusive videos.